Hello again. This time you guys chose the light blue drawers. All right. These are my paper drawers. And I like paper a lot. Daiso makes it really easy. So this is my little bag of stuff that I kind of just throw in whatever doesn't fit in another category. It's a lot of cards and stuff. I'll show you. Some of it's loose notes, things I've received from Rainbowholic or people like to give little freebies like cute things from Japan. Um, I like to get the sticky kit and sticky club, two different ones, but they send really cute stuff like look at this. It's so adorable. Um, so yeah, oh, I've ordered from I think it's Tokyo Sticker Store. She sent these, which I thought were cool. And then um, things I've collected on my travels, uh, like this paper, for instance. There's a little store in Asakusa, Tokyo, and it was like a little packet of paper. They're like the oldest store of paper goods there. They've got their own washi and uh, prints, and it's just, it's beautiful. And even though it was a little expensive and they are very beautiful, I forced myself to use them because otherwise what are they doing but sitting in a drawer. But a lot of them have really cool reflective paint on them and they're just beautiful and classic Japanese style. I mean, look at that. I almost used this the other day. So yeah, this is just, you know, mouth things. Cool stuff from Rainbow Pollock. And yeah, so there are just things like this one's from Chi Chi Little and she sent a bunch of little sticky notes that I need to use and my name. And I'll just have to put that back in the bag later. I also keep things in here like uh, this was from a sticker sheet and it's just too cute to throw away. I also almost used that the other day, but you know, you can put it on the edge of a page and flip it open or have something underneath it. So and put stuff on top and I just think it's really cute and I feel bad throwing stuff away sometimes and my cat's over here you probably see his tail Hi. I also have things I've gotten from different stores like Kinakunuya is in the States uh, there's a couple near me and sometimes when you buy stuff they they put it in like a little envelope and their paper is always so adorable um, this is from sticky kit it came in one of their envelopes and it's just, again, adorable. And I think these are mostly from cute things from Japan. When you order from them, they are really super nice. And this paper is beautiful and they're all different. And so she wraps up of all the things you buy. And this one I've gotten in the spring and I've used like three or four times. I'm like running out of it, but I hate throwing it away and it's so beautiful. And sometimes I use this stuff for wrapping gifts, you know, just whatever. And yeah, they're just beautiful. And you get a whole, a whole sheet. It's really nice. Next, I've got just some plain paper I bought at Daiso really cheap. Not a ton of colors, just sort of cools and warms and pastel -y, but I like them because I use, I think, an A5. Whoops, just knocked something over and as you can tell, it's perfect. So I could just cover a whole page and it's a lot easier than using origami because it's so small and you have to do two to one page. Let's see. These are from leftover scrapbook paper. Um, I like to get these thin, I think this is, I don't know if it's washi paper or vellum, but it's really super thin and I've used it to cover up patterns that I wanted to use, but they were too bold. And that way I could still have a, a pattern behind it and then right on top. Um, and I like it because it comes with neat little lines so you could write on top of it before you glue it down. Um, but just, you know, nice to dull things sometimes. This I got off of um, jetpins.com. They have a lot of really cool stationary stuff and I like them because they put up a lot of stuff you just can't get here that comes from Japan like this is um, washi paper. It's super thin. It comes in a few colors. They're very, very light. I don't even know if you could 
tell. They kind of come in these rainbow tones. Um, and they're also super thin and they fit on my sketch, or not my sketchbook, my <laughs> journal. Um, yeah, and I've used them to make envelopes. They work really well for that because they're nice and thin and so it doesn't bulk up your page too much. Next, I've got paper I bought from, I think both of these are from Michaels or maybe Hobby Lobby. I didn't get to use this one in the spring because I bought it after the spring, um, but it's really cute. I love the umbrellas. I love rain. The colors are a little off from the front, but it's just adorable. Love it. And you get two, so, you know, it's reverse paper. If I use one of those clouds, I've got another one in the back. And they're nice and big, again, to put in the journal, which is what all this is for. This is a pack of florals. I love, 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 love florals. Um, the kitschier the better. <laughs> I just love florals, which I'm sure most of you know. And they come in lots of pretty colors. This I need to use. Look at that. Again, Michaels. Huge, beautiful. They're just so hard, what do I use it on? But that's kind of the fun of having a whole bunch of things. You can just play with them. Um, but it's really nice quality and Michaels has a lot of sales on paper pads like this. Makes it easy to spend money. This is an old Hokusai uh, calendar. And I couldn't throw it away because every month is a beautiful picture by Hokusai. Uh, he's a really famous Japanese printmaking artist. I was really, really, really lucky to go to his museum in Tokyo when I went on my honeymoon and we got to see that famous painting with these waves and Mount Fuji in the background. If you ever go there, I highly recommend going to see that museum. They have the permanent collection and then like a rotating collection. Um, this is paper from something out in Japan. Me and my husband are wrestling fans and we were lucky enough to go to Wrestle Kingdom and I got some of Okada. He's one of their big wrestlers in um, New Japan Pro Wrestling. I got some of his money, which made a lot of my friends happy because they also watch it and it's good to share. <clears throat> I have had questions about pin pals, um, which I want to do one day, but right now I'm kind of focusing on getting my stuff together. Um, but I've also thought about just including these as freebie bits in my packaging. So if that's something you're all are interested in, like please shoot me a message, let me know. This is another paper that came from some item I bought near the temple in Saksa. And it's just beautiful. And I think these are mainly scraps. I save a lot of stuff from calendars because they're really pretty. I've used quite a bit of them this year. Um, and again, I hate to waste. And these are for paper stars because I'm a nerd and I love folding paper stars and I put it with my paper. So, next one is the little drawer. The colors are a little off. As an artist, that bothers me. I have Hello Kitty papers and a notepad that we found at Wool Market right around my birthday. There's so many of them, so I definitely want to share one day. Um, they had a whole bunch of different uh, Hello Kitty patterns. I love Hello Kitty because, again, I love cats. Um, but sometimes their stuff's a little funky, and I'm not a huge fan. Um, but I really liked these papers, so I bought them. Hey, from this. And then a lot of this is mainly Daiso finds. Earths. I like that they're round. It's fun to do different shapes. Uh, huge Ghibli fan. I can't decide if Spirited Away or Castle in the Sky or House Moving Castle is my favorite, but these papers you can find at Kinokuniya Books and they're a little expensive but they are very pretty. They also have some of their washi tapes. I think this one's also from Daiso. This is the painting I was talking about, Hokusai. Um, again, you've probably seen these. Like a lot of his work and his students' works you've seen. More Daiso paper. I like to get some of the simple pattern ones sometimes 
And what I like about Daiso is a lot of their stuff is double-sided, so you have different fronts and different colors on the back or patterns. So, and you know, it's a really good price and you get so much paper and a lot of times I split up and give friends, you know, whichever ones they like. Um, they've got some cool kind of old style pattern ones. These were from their Sakura um, stationary stuff they sold this spring. If you hear any crazy noises in the background, it's my cat going crazy. Um, what's cool about these is they're vellum, so they're see-through. Um, I believe Rainbow Holic has a video about this paper and what she did for her um, Sakura viewing. Another one. Cats and flowers. Um, I think they had bunnies and um, Shiba dogs. More Studio Ghibli. This one's another Kinya Kanuya buy. This one I got on my honeymoon. Seriously, if you ever go to Tokyo, it is amazing. And I wish I could have gone to a ton more stationary stores than I had time for. But all the Ghibli stores had cute stuff. And if you go, like, look at a bunch of them because that none of them had all the same things. Um, Toto is adorable. More flowers in the Japanese style. I love florals. Uh, I forgot how you say Ukiyo Ukiyoe. Another woodblock printer. And I like these girls, little geishas, and their faces are, are happy. And I'm not sure what she's doing, but it looks cool. And the colors are not too bright. Sometimes I feel like I use too many bright colors, so I like to use more muted colors and try to challenge myself to do stuff that isn't what I love to do, which is all bright colors. I like these because they're little pastries. This is one of the most beautiful Studley Ghibli ones. I love the colors. It's very neon-y and just beautiful. And the Castle in the Sky one's a little dull, but I love the star one. And again, something different. More cherry blossoms with different colors. Really need to use this one. It's just a bunch of different pattern designs and they're beautiful. I really like this pink one. Let's see, this is the spring Totoro one. It's really cute with little May running around. I bought these and I haven't used them yet. I thought I would, but I don't know. Maybe someone will have a party. But they're different. This one's lemon. This one has pineapples. I like this little cute happy one. These look like little candies. And they're $1.50, so, you know. More Ghibli ones. Um, I bought this because I love the little soot dudes. They're adorable. And I like this one with all the little neon signs. These I was happy to find after seeing them online. We have Daisos here, but they don't always get 100% of the same items in the same season. Uh, I bought this because it's shiny and pearly and it came with different colors. Um, more Japanese patterns. This one is different because a lot of the stuff in this drawer is very similar. Uh, this is my friend Liz got me these kaleidoscope papers, which are fun. But I did warn you guys that it would get more boring, but is it boring if you're looking at a bunch of beautiful paper? I think that's subjective. I love these. It reminds me of those papers I got in Tokyo. A bunch of different patterns. And then I have, I think I bought these at Joann's, just solid colors. Um, it was really cheap, like a dollar or something. I've got two of these because I bought them and then my friend Liz bought me this for my birthday. I love crystals and horoscopes and stars. Um, shiny things. This one I used on my diamond page for April. Uh, so having two of them isn't bad because then I can cover more pages. And lastly, oh wait, I got two. This one is marble paper. I like that it comes in different colors. It almost fits the entire page of my journal, if I'm remembering correctly. But then you just fill the middle and wash it around the sides. So it's pretty much perfect. 
and then I picked this up after my friend told me about it. It's just silly food, but you know, sometimes you go to a place and you try food just because, you know, you heard it's good. So I like the mac and cheese and the donuts. And yeah, that's it guys. That is my light blue drawers. We'll vote again next week and I'll put up another video. And thanks for checking me out.